Back to the gold saucer we go. Welcome to the gold saucer. We hope you enjoy your time with us Should today. Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's sure. something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see, no one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. It's just a legend. I did, aye, but. Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. It's like, we'll worry about it later. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> for now, we have to find Dio. Oh, hey. There's, a, there's exclamation marks everywhere. Because everything's been updated. I do, I do also need to go back to Battle Square. I wonder if any... I wonder if any... Uh, new ones have been added. We've Any new matches? Are so Check it out, Cloud. Can you believe this? Uh, Corneo? The Dawn outstayed his welcome in Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress hmm. rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. Interesting. Is spectating not oh, hey, those doors are open. Inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. I just wanted to check and see if there Welcome were any the new matches available. I can't. <laughs> I can't check. I have to follow Aaron. Is spectating not enough? Okay. That deal's right there. I didn't want to go here right away, but I inadvertently did. Dang. What the frick? The, the one place I needed to check out, I needed to check, is where Dio's at. And I'm locked into it. I can't go anywhere else. Hey, LaFerge. Tickets to tomorrow's match are almost sold out. Battle Square is brimming with excitement. Oh, hey, Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? They do, but people always think war is someone else's problem until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, I gotta be honest. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to fight for the planet, convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like, I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try, I'm Aww. in over my head. And maybe you are lost, but knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. That's true. That's You're very not. true. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebel anymore. We're not <laughs> That's powerless. also true. <laughs> and we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. I needed <laughs> that. All right, now let's go find Dio. Cool. Always come up short. <laughs> I. Hey, love birds. Wise Tickets words the from Cloud there. Where could Dio be? Hmm. I already know, and I in and I er inadvertently found out. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything. New at uh, the GP stands. I'm guessing not, but it doesn't hurt to take a look. Some of your points and get a gift for that special someone. Lustrous feather. That's new. 
A material used in the creation of an enhanced expeditionary metal. Oh. Available for the purchase at the Gold Saucer's GP exchange kiosks. Gold Talon. Burnished Crown. Yeah, this is all stuff that I've gotten before. Interesting. I can now purchase... Uh... Enemy... A special fiend drop. A special fiend... Drops... That... You get for... Tra uh, for transmuting. Because I've used these for transmuting uh, specific items. Huh. If you're looking to escape the crowds, are why you not ready try to embark on wheel? an adventure through the skies? We hope this experience is one that you'll cherish for the rest of your life. Derek Stephen Prince, is that you voicing the kiosk, the kiosk guy? I swear it is. Like, who's oh, here? Hey, Cloud, oh. got some news. I didn't mean to activate another quest. Apparently, the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the gold cup. So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. Of the course. races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. Sure. Yeah, we'll do that another time. Oh, hey, Red. Hi. Hey, sorry, but I haven't caught a whiff of Dio yet. Damn. Good race? Yeah, it'd be awesome if I could enter. As a jockey or a chocobo? Mm. Definitely not as a chocobo. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like red, either or. You can't be a chocobo, red. That is so funny. Oh, wait. Keeping pace with humans doesn't make for good exercise. I gotta get back in shape. Hey, Barrett. Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Definitely. Oh, maybe not. No, she Maybe would. she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah. Yeah, that's for Ain't sure. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> that was a nice little scene. Folks are counting on us. Can't let them down. Ladies and gentlemen, something big is afoot. So We're true. I'm gonna be singing on that. So, we can't go into the theater, can we? I'm terribly sorry. Unfortunately, tickets are required for today's performance. Are we actually going to see the play? I really hope so. <laughs> the, the, the I mean, you get to see a play in the original. One day, I'm gonna be and the, the way it goes down is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious in the original game. I I I really want to see it uh, played out in the in this game. I really do. So I completely missed this. Yeah. All of a sudden, he was surrounded by colorful cactuars. Oh no! Menacing. 
menacingly, clutching his glove. Clang! Rang the gong. Clang! Rang the gong. All right. <laughs> it's like Can round one. Into action. But Kichi was even faster. Jab, jab, strike. With his every punch, he scored knockout after knockout. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> This is pretty funny. With a shiny crown on his head, the king. Kichi told the king that he'd come to protect the treasure of the sands, to honor and fulfill an ancient pact. Huh. The king welcomed Kichi, and from that day on, he took his place as guardian of the treasure of the sands. Some believe that he's still out there, somewhere. I mean, he is. Anyone who tried to steal the precious treasure of the sands. Thank you all for listening. After a short break, we'll return with the next show. Be sure to stick around for it. Hmm. Well, that was a fun little, uh, little story to. Uh, that I just witnessed. <laughs> so I, I really wonder if this is like gonna open up at some point and this is gonna be a mini game, this snowboarding thing. I do really wonder. Is there seriously no one to talk to here? Oh, wait. Yuffie's right here. Hey, Yuffie. Alright, you're the boss. <laughs> Cloud! Don't even think of lecturing me. I already I'm not gonna lecture you. And a turn up squat, okay? Anyway, you wanna throw <laughs> down? Oh, really? Really? Do I have to do this now, or can I do it later? Um, oh boy. Haven't done this in a super long time. I may be really rusty. I'll give it a try. My god. Uh, with left, up, and, uh, up or down. And with right, up or down as well. Okay. Oh, block. There we go. Oh, the other way. Oh, no. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, no, wrong one. At least 
put up a fight. Oh, what? He does two <coughs> combo. Bring it on. I, I did the wrong. Oh, my God. You're ready. There we go. Whoa. Took me a <laughs> took me a number of tries. Credit where it's due. <laughs> and my relationship with Yuvi has changed. Awesome. It's like she gained a little bit of respect for me, did she? <laughs> uh, that was fun. It was fun, uh, but it does get frustrating. It's like it—it it takes a little bit of doing for me. Where is he? There he is. His ghost, eh? Uh, excuse me. What is Yen and Yang doing it behind the counter? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. That's weird. I, I didn't give you anything. Of course, of, of course, Vincent would be here. Dio's not here. Okay. Dio's not here. I gotta, I, I gotta get my uh, Vincent voice down. Vincent's not here. Yeah. Of, of course there's time. There's all the time in the world. Because you're dead, right? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's actually follow Aerith this time. Hi, Dio. Aha, found him. Greetings, Mr. Director. Hmm. He doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well. If it isn't our friendly good. fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery that the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of... Are those muscles all for show, then? <laughs> Come on, Dio. Things. Whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. You must take part in our exclusive event! The Figure. Fight for Naming Rights! Dio's champions versus the Corneo family! Corneo family? 
Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo Land. <laughs> Corneo Land? What? Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? A cotch and scotch hey, again. From the dark. Find and Give the people what they want. Take it. Entertain. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was lamenting my lot in life when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. Divine intervention, huh? <laughs> Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Deal. Then we have ourselves a deal. J <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Like he has an animated figure of him just like Don Corneo. That's funny. <laughs> I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. All right. Rest at the haunted hotel. And fast travel is available again. The fate of the gold saucer rests on your shoulders. Don't let me down. I won't. I won't, Dio. Anything your else? Rooms are in order. Be sure to get a good night's sleep before the big day. All right. Well, thank you, Dio. It's like Dio's a pretty decent guy. It's like even though that he's ex Shenra, he's a decent guy, and he's a man of his word. Hello. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. That's right. Date no oh date night at the gold saucer. Here it is. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment alone with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationships relationships la, 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 with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. You'd better rest up before your big day. Uh, yes for a bit, or yes until tomorrow. Uh, until tomorrow. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like, uh, uh, Nero. <sighs> What about what, Aerith? <laughs> Come on, think. She making date plans? <laughs> you alright there? How's it going? Not so good. I had no idea you were into songwriting. <laughs> oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, oh, that's what it is. You. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. Just <laughs> 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 they say curiosity killed the cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, Aaron. <laughs> Oh. Oh, my name. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. He was just seeing through the eyes of of his other self in the other timeline. 
That is crazy. Oh my god. It's Century 5 Undercity, Aerith's house. Back here. Alright. Here. Back to Zack. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Alright, wasn't expecting to go back to Zack here. Tending to the sick. No, I can't talk to her. For a second there, I thought I saw a flash of uh, a triangle to talk to her. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better sure. this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. Mm -hmm. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. Oh. I mean, I'd love to, but you uh, you said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh Interesting thing for Promise her to say. Not to tell? When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Oh. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... Uh, okay, so it's... I take it why Marlene would even know this at all would be because of when she hugged Aerith in the first game. When, when Aerith went to go save Marlene from the Sector's 5 plate falling. Uh, sector 7 plate, excuse me. We're in Sector 5. Sector 7 plate. So it's like, Marlene, I guess what, like, saw a glimpse of what could happen to Aerith? That's very interesting. She dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I knew it. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Not exactly gray. Of all the people. Hmm. 
Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... He's gonna go talk to Hojo? <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> that girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> <laughs> don't let her. Please. Like, for Zack's sake, right? And for Aerith's own sake? Make sure that you're back by dinner. Alright. Make sure that you're back by dinner. Well, I guess I'm on a mission now. This is very, very interesting. And this is the bike I'm gonna use? Yep. Let's mosey. Hello? I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up to each, each of us to find, find our own purpose in life. Because an avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. Take care. Steer, Six. Steer clear no, of Reactor 6. I didn't. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Gotta find Elmira. What? She hasn't moved. <sighs> Two hours later. Hello? A visitor coming in. Aerith, I take it? Hey! No. Is this a bad time? Red. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Couldn't find anyone. Thought they might be here. Just me. Oh. Actually, there's this play I want to see, and would you mind coming with? I already have the tickets, but look at me. There's no way I'm getting in by myself. <laughs> I got you. You do? Great! So... Wait, my, my date is with Red? Is it because that... I maxed out red first. It was so easy to max them out. It's like, I... My god. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was hoping for era. Honestly. Come but... Down. Uh, yes, Boris. Take us down. So 
So... See you again soon. This is gonna be interesting with Red. <laughs> Special showing of Loveless G edition will begin shortly. Loveless G edition. Hurry your way to the theater. Are you here to see Loveless? I am. Let's do it. Everyone else is here. Attention event square guests. <laughs> yeah. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me. What? Aerith Singh? What's happening? Whoa. Is this a virtual play? What's happening? What the heck? It's like interpretive dance? <laughs> It's like so melodramatic. So melodramatic. This is beautifully animated. Not to mention it's a virtual Jesse, which is kind of crazy. It's like I wasn't expecting that. It's like we actually get to see her perform. It's like I, I love it. That was great. <laughs> that lady was beautiful. Yeah. Hell of an actor, too. Yeah. 
And Dancer. The Dragon King, huh? What? A Virgil Kate Sith. A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Guardia. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfre was the traveler's name. In search Alfred. of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. N he Squirrel. threw himself <laughs> into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Me a villain? Come on now. Oh, choose my path. Okay. Face face my fate or test your might. And I get a tutorial with that. Uh Test your might. My faithful blade, join me in the dance. <laughs> oh, that up. Oh. There we go. Now I see what we're doing. Kind of like uh, the, oh, kind and kind of like the, oh, um, it's kind of like the whole thing with the um parade, kind of like that. Oh man, that was kind of quick. Woo! I got a max to combo of seven. Or not to proceed. Dude. <laughs> I mean, uh, let me try this again. Because it's not quite what I was expecting, but. Uh, so. I want to. Do this one more time. There you go, that was a lot better. Or not to proceed. Well, I, I, I think I got a handle on it. Let's do it. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. <laughs> Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Hello, my princess. Alfred, are you unharmed? Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, how did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. 
Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Pray take not another step, gentle princess. Nice outfit. Barbados. Oh, oh. <laughs> Would the cur defy <laughs> his captor? <laughs> <laughs> I love what I, they're doing here. By the grace of the goddess. As she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. Oh, I, I get, I get the Jews. <laughs> you know not whom you face, nor that you stand in his dominion. For I am Barbados, the Dragon King. And by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rue this day. <laughs> uh, Barrett looks amazing as Varvados. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang? And keenest claw. Uh. <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. How shall your feeble aegis fail? <laughs> I mean, you know not I have to go face, nor with Barvados. For I am. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar! Oh. Ah. I wasn't ready. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Da -da 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 Okay, this is fun, and this is also really amazing. So, uh, was was that as Bravo! good as what possible? A splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. All right. Choose what to divine? Garm's weakness. Or your future with Rosa. I mean... Please. Please. My future with Rosa. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. <laughs> it's time we set the stage anew. 
Yeah, all right. Whoa. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh. My God. Whoa. Uh, oh, oh. Ah. He cloned himself. Oh. What the frick? These are going kind of fast. Jesus. Da, 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 da. I, I do. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Ah. Too many bads. I messed up so badly. The mighty are fallen, and in such disarray. Never before have I seen such hapless swordsmanship. Though lest we forget, the goddess above still smiles upon him. Or so we can but pray. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Maybe. <laughs> Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate, and let the world know your heart. Choose, I mean, come on, come on. Choose my beloved, Rosa, come on. My love. Alfred. A nice dip. <laughs> kiss, 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 kiss. Ah, cease the charade. Love is not but an illusion. Ah! Oh. Goddess above. Grab Let my blade strike true. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh my god. This is going better. Ah! No, 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 no! Ah! Damn it! I'm not sure what I was supposed to do though, it was all four buttons.
Final results. A. I'll take it. Bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. <sighs> My heart still pounds. I am grateful to have fought at your side. Thank you, my hero. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. <laughs> Alfred, look. I am loving this. This is so good. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. In a loving embrace. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Encore! Encore! <laughs> uh. That it? Was there a little more? Is this is where she gonna sing? It's, it's Sid, wake up!
Oh, wow. Oh, Chudley's there, too. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was beautiful. Oh. Tears. <laughs> oh. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god. Hmm. That was beautifully, beautifully sung. And I assume Brianna White did her own singing. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Mm. This game is so good. It's like this, this whole play. I mean, the first part of it with the I want to say the interpretive dancing was a nice addition but everything that we just went through with you know that the dragon king and Aerith being you know like the princess you know that was that was part of the play in the original game. And then the song at the end here was the icing on the cake. It really was. I mean, I... And that was, of course, new as well. So good. It was slightly bringing a tear to my eye, that song. My God. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's like, I, mm, I cannot gush enough of how good this game is. It's like, the, the original play pales in comparison, you know, in the original game, to this. This was flipping amazing. Absolutely flipping amazing. Amazing! And I loved every moment of it! Ugh. Go on. Hmm. The relationship has changed with everyone. And you know, Jesse Biggs and Wedge showing up during that was also great. It's like, that was a nice surprise. Seriously. That was something else, huh? Oh, an Aerith song? I got a little misty-eyed there. Same. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. 
Oh, okay then. That settles it. <laughs> you are right, Red. The sky wheel before it's too late, Cloud. All right. Thank All you right. Thank for joining us <laughs> for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride. Oh my on the sky god. Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view this, of the gold This game. And the this game, sky. man. Sky Wheel Square. I didn't think it was actually possible to go on a date with Red. I thought it would. I thought it would be like with with a human. <laughs> I mean, having an affinity ranking with Red is is really different. I mean, the... You didn't have an affinity ranking with Red in the original game. You just didn't. It was only with Aerith, Tifa, and Barret. As far as I know. So... Going on a date with Red here just feels so different. I mean, it, I mean, we're just like kind of, you know, buddies. So this is like a buddy date. It doesn't feel like a date date. You know, you know what I mean? Are you ready to ride? Yes. Red is so excited. <laughs> I love it. Come on, come on, come on! <laughs> cool it. It's just How like an excited I? puppy. It's a... Whoa! You can control this? My God! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. You're a pro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play through the game again to see if I could just get Aerith maxed out so I could actually see the date with her. What's up? All right. This doesn't leave the ride, okay? It might sound crazy, but back in Midgar, Aerith and I could both see the future. Well, I, I figured that. that explain a lot. I'm guessing you can't anymore, though. Nope, not even a bit. Oh, really? Whatever we had, I think the whispers took it from us when we left. Huh. Seems arbiters of fate can do whatever they want. So you told I mean, us. Yeah. Oh, did I? Huh. I wonder if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist. We'd be better off if we did, frankly. There's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it. You're right. Still, there is one thing I need you to remember. You have to keep Aerith safe. Hmm? I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. Chick. 
Yeah. Careful with those claws. Shake on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Red is <are> soft. <laughs> huh? Nothing. <laughs> Red is such a puppy dog here. It's, it's honestly pretty adorable. I'm glad that we could speak in private, Cloud. Yeah. But you're good company. Thanks. Why was that line in his intellectual voice, as he has put it? Has it deepened even further? Oh. Skies above Corel the next day. Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously, wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel can be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. Hm. Good thing we let her go. Uh, and there's Rufus and his doggo. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. What pray tell is your idea, Rufus? All right, let's bring this one home. The fight for naming rights. Your battle party will consist of Cloud, his date the previous night, and one remainder of your and one member of your choosing. Once you and your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak with the reception staff. All right. So me, so Cloud, Red, and whoever I choose. All right. Well. Well, I th I think we'll save that for next time. And we uh, we've gotten through a lot here, so this. I need to pause this so the this announcer's voice isn't in my ear. Uh, so and this was all great. It's like the the date, the play. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. It's like I loved every single moment of it. I, I I do wonder, like, how different it could possibly be with uh, my other party members. Like, it, like if I maxed Aerith out with my with the affinity ranking before Red, it's like how different would the date be? I. I do honestly want to find that out. I, I, I may actually do that as like part of an, like an extra video show, you know, showing the different dates. Th that, that could be interesting, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's, and that's with like, so we have like Aerith Barrett. Tifa to go through with their dates. Kate Sith? I don't 
seem to have an affinity ranking with. I mean, he did kind of come kind of late into the story, but there's no affinity ranking with him. So, I... I actually wonder if they might be saving an affinity ranking with him for like the third game or something. Maybe. <laughs> it's like I could s I could possibly see that happening with the third game. It's like them bring back the affinity ranking and them you know doing more with it. Maybe. I guess it could be a possibility. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm just assuming at this point, but that this was simply great. And as much as I want to keep going, it's like I I do have to stop. I mean, I I goddamn love this game. I've made that abundantly clear at this point. It's like, could, could they possibly make this game any better than what I have seen so far? I mean, we still, we still have a ways to go, right? So, I cannot wait to see how this game ends. I mean, I, I, I kind of have a feeling how it's going to end, but at the same time, I am looking forward to how it ends. I don't want to say anything of what I think, uh, of what I think of how the game is going to end. It's like, I want to see it before it, ha I want to see it as it happens. And then comment about it then. I guess with that, I'll finally stop it here. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. And thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.